Um, good morning. Um, I'm going to read the statement to you uh, which has been sent to me from the Department for Education and the National Centre for Disease Control. Uh, please bear with me and whatever you do, do not panic. Um, I come to you with some grave news. Over the last 24 hours we have had reports coming in of a virus spreading across the UK. The virus causes nausea, vomiting, immense pain and eventual death. But it gets worse. Reports have confirmed that the dead bodies of the victims have, after a period of anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours, come back to life to feast on the flesh of the living. There have been major outbreaks in London and Manchester where reanimated corpses have been roaming the streets looking for human prey and it's expected to hit Bristol soon. We know it's a virus which spreads by contact with the infected, so over the next few hours we're going to have to think scientifically to stop the spread. We will need to be practical, analytical and pull together to face this threat. Today you will be working on a number of projects essential to the survival of our species, aiming at understanding the virus, controlling the spread, spotting the symptoms and how to escape the undead if they make it to our school. I hate to ask you this, Bristol Free School, but we need your help to make sure that our school is not overrun by ravenous zombie hordes. The very future of the human race is in your hands. Um, this much we know. We know that the dead are coming back to life, to feed on the brains of the living. We know this is caused, this is caused by an infection, and we know that we must study this infection if we're going to have any hope of saving the human race. Government scientists have been working around the clock to try and find a cure, but as the hordes of walkers on the streets of London intensify, they are in desperate need of some outside help. We need your help here as top scientists to detect any trace of the virus and more importantly, to stop it spreading. To do this, you will need a few things. Learn about the zombie virus and how it affects the body. Use microbiology to check your cells and your area of evidence of the virus. Learn how the virus is spreading. Model the virus so we can inform others in case of a future outbreak. Good luck teams, we are counting on you to stem this unholy tide of undead laying waste to our country. There's a chance, a tiny chance, that we found a way to stop the spread of this thing. A vaccine, it won't cure the infected, but it'll, st it'll stop them infecting us, maybe. The trouble is, there's no way to know whether it works or not without testing it on a human. Lots of humans, of all ages, so we know exactly how effective it is. Those people's sacrifices could save millions of lives. Or it might be for nothing, the vaccine might not work at all. And even if it works, what might our willingness to take such a chance with human life be, the most precious commodity on the planet? Do to us, to our children, survival at any cost, is that where we're at? It's on you to make sure that defeating these monsters won't make monsters of us all. Oh, sorry. Um, look, 
to be honest, um, I didn't want to involve you all. Uh, I didn't want to involve any of you. But since early this morning, we have been hearing reports of reanimated corpses roaming the streets of Bristol itself. Cabot Circus has been overrun. And there have even been some sightings of the dead attacking shoppers in the centre of Westbury. This is it, your moment of truth. If you fail to act now, the whole city will fall, just as London and Manchester have. And many of us will fall with it. Maybe not me. Um, but if we can separate off the legions of undead before the infection spreads, we can fence them in and contain them and save our city. We will have shown the world that this disease is not unstoppable, that we can fight it and we can win. We need to understand how fast this infection is spreading and we need to protect ourselves with a quarantine perimeter. Godspeed and good luck to you all. If the zombies reach our school at any point during the day or the virus spreads throughout the perimeter, I will call for a lockdown. You will hear a new alarm. Upon hearing it, follow the lockdown procedure. Your teachers will take you through it now. Stay safe. Well, Bristol Free School, I'm delighted to finally bring you some positive news today. Because of your tireless efforts throughout the day, we've remained for the most part safe and free from infection. The quarantine perimeter seems to be holding, and we believe the immediate zombie threat has been neutralised. There is also news that the vaccine has worked so we can stop the spread of the virus. Leading your school through a zombie apocalypse is every head teacher's biggest fear. But today, your analytical skills and scientific thinking have saved our school and made me very proud. For those of you who have not already succumbed to the virus, it is now safe to leave the building. There may be one or two stragglers on the way, but nothing you can't handle. Are you all right? Yeah, Detective Superintendent. Now, the students pulled through. Yeah, no, we managed to... We managed to maintain our defences. Yeah. You're right. Just hold the gate. I'm on the phone. Mr. Pate, I'm on the phone. Hold the gate. Um, no, we didn't have too many casualties. Really. Um, mainly teaching staff, but no one we can't replace. Yeah, yeah. I, in, in fact, I mean, since it happened, uh, Mr. Jones, since he turned, has been teaching some fabulous lessons. So I'm quite comfortable with it, really, as long as you keep it locked down a little bit. Um, you're right, Mr. Pate. You're looking a little peaky. Go and have a coffee. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you, um, and uh, thanks for all your help. See you later. Bye bye. Um, well, that was an unusual day. Uh, I bet you don't get to film stuff like that very often, particularly not in schools anyway. Well, I hope they're all right in there, and uh, I look forward to uh, being back in school on Monday. Take care, and I hope you're all right. Bye bye. <laughs>